30 years of our life in this tariqah waiting for the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi He's right behind a veil that you can feel him breathing. It's so, it's so close for his zuhur that Allah with one small, not a huge army that people were thinking they're coming from everywhere and khalifas from here and wherever. No, those were the clowns. Allah's was just a little bug came, entered into this earth and now everything is dropping. Means that the Imam is on his way. We pray that Allah keep us to see that day, Ameen. to at least have a breath from that presence. To have kissed his hands. And if we don't make it with our physicality, that our soul to be there. That we spent this portion of our life with that belief, whatever sacrifices people made, whatever they gave of their time, of their wealth, of their positions and possessions, of their dreams that turned everything in for the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi to live a life in which we would be clean. This was uh, inspired in all our hearts and their teachings that come to Allah's rida and satisfaction, that God Almighty be happy with us, that our character to be good, our actions to be clean, to be with the Imam and to witness that day, to kiss His holy hands and at that time leave the world and least Ya Rabbi you granted me the greatest accomplishment, that all nations were waiting for that arrival. All Prophets waiting for that arrival, all Sahabi waiting for that arrival, all Ahlul Bayt waiting for that arrival. InshaAllah give us eyes to see that coming very quick. They have neither fear nor grief. If you think you're going to die, run to your death. There's nothing to hide from, there's no death to hide from. That, Ya Rabbi whatever my fate I'm running, I wanted to die a long time ago. But at least let my eyes now to see the arrival of my Imam, to kiss his holy hands and feel that I have accomplished something with my existence and give people good tidings and glad tidings that, oh people keep ourselves to be good. We see now the signs everywhere. Whoever laughed and mocked of days of grief and difficulty and they said, ha 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 ha, look this will go forever this dunya. Now they see clearly with their eyes. They see death everywhere and they fear it. They see sickness everywhere and they fear it. And the believer has nothing to fear nor to grieve. That we took away of mouth, the qabl al mouth, that I went into that grave and I sat in it. InshaAllah Allah make that death to be easy, my last breath to be sweet and my vision to be in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Alhamdulillah glad tidings for all who are out there. Sayyidina Mahdi Salam is coming, mm. not with weapons. You see Allah's weapon is just a little bug that goes and destroys everything. Every sickness came upon earth, every finance collapsed upon earth, everything not with weapons. They want to bring weapons to fight something they can't see. He said he is the president of war and his war is against an unseen army. He announced, I'm a president of war and we are at war with unseen. This is the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi not the harming of anyone. Just this dunya begins to collapse. When we're witnessing with our, our, our eyes all of the foretold signs that are coming one after another, like dominoes that it was hit, now one by one they're coming. And faith was to be prepared. Like the ship of Sayyidina Nuh, how much they mock you when you prepare. And they say, why you have like this, why you have like that, why you people like this? Oh you are tea people and coffee people. No, this was Mawlana Shaykh's teaching. Mawlana Shaykh's teaching was that live your life to be prepared. 
it was a sign of your iman. There's no preparing for judgment day. You don't buy boots and say, I'm getting an umbrella in case Allah's judgment day comes I'll be ready. Allah's rahmah was that between this life and judgment day that we were told about Armageddon and that Sayyidina Mahdi would be coming. It gave us a something to prepare for, something to actualize our faith. Faith is not something you keep in a closet thinking you are the only one who knows you have it. Tariqah comes for the Islam maqam al-iman and then shoot right over that into ihsan, the perfection of faith. So it means they had a way of bringing our faith out. Your faith was to believe these days were coming. Oh my brothers and sisters, did you believe? Did you have homes that are prepared? Did you have food and cracker and peanuts and diapers and whatever necessities? Mawlana Shaykh Nazim, Sultan and Awliya said, live your house and live your life like it's a little market. In your little cupboard put all your supplies, eat from it and restock it, eat from it, restock it. Don't be a person who runs on empty trying to prove like, oh the shaykh's barakah will take care of me. We, we told that a long time ago. We went through trainings in which cities were blocked out, not even gas. And if you were running your engine on empty your gas ran out and you were 45 miles away from picking up your children in the middle of the night. What's coming upon this earth requires utmost level of faith, best of character. That Allah to be pleased with His servant. There's only so much I can buy and prepare my Lord but from what I do get let it to have tabarak and blessings. That tabarak and blessings is love of what? Of awliyaullah, love of Allah love of Sayyidina Muhammad and love of pious people whom are good with their actions and their deeds. That is the Mecca, Medina and Shams al-Sharif. When Allah Prophet described, there will be no, nowhere safe on this earth except Mecca, Medina and Shaykh Sharif. Mecca is a state of our being that our heart has to be like the Holy Kaaba, clean and purify. Purify my house, Allah's house is in my heart, in our hearts. Is the heart clean? Is it been washed? Is the character being worked on continuously? Not that we're perfected but we took a way of perfection. That I'm cleaning my heart, Ya Rabbi make my heart your Mecca and that I become Ahli Hijaz and that my ruh, my soul is from the people of Hijaz, that my heart is a reflection of the Holy Kaaba and that I am of the people of Madani. I am the people of Medina because my heart and love is in Medina in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad And I tried all my life to live and to love Sayyidina Muhammad more than I love myself. Then you become Madani. Your worship is for Allah your heart like a Kaaba but your entire being is with Sayyidina Muhammad and then what Prophet teaches us, then follow my ulul amri minkum, Atiullah Mecca, Atiya Rasul Medina wa ulul amri minkum. By order of Prophet isharat he guides us, follow my ulul am, they are the awliyaullah. And awliyaullah are the representation of Shaykh Sharif. If you have these three loves in our being, love for Allah make my heart the Holy Kaaba, love for Sayyidina Muhammad my soul is only in Medina to Munawwara. Continuously at the threshold of Sayyidina Muhammad that with my life, with my mind, with my wealth, with everything how to make Sayyidina Muhammad happy with me. If you can't do the dawah support those who can, if you can't help support those who can. And we all become madani and with that love we accompanied only Allah in our life. We eat with them, we drink with them, we pray with them. We ask for their madad here and hereafter. If you're with these three what do you have to worry about? 
death will be sweet for you. Its resurrection should be pleasing for you. And all along the madad and support of those whom Allah blessed within the heavens and on earth. So it means the greatest achievement, the greatest achievement. All we have now with this breath of our life that we've been given, Ya Rabbi, let me to see Sayyidina Mahdi Salaam. Let me to prepare the way for Sayyidina Mahdi Salaam with good deeds, good actions. People thought that the Mahdi was about fighting. No, those whom truly preparing the way for Sayyidina Mahdi Salaam, they're going and teaching love. Love was the only protection for what was coming upon this earth. They asked, Oh my Lord, where are you? He said, I'm in every drop of tear that moves from your cheek. He said, Oh my love, Oh my Lord, where are you? I'm in the smile and in the, the goodness of your smile. They understood Allah's reality was all about muhabbat and good character. So how do you prepare a people who became prone to evilness and dirtiness was to teach them goodness. That was the taweez, that was the protection, that was the best mask and the best antidote, the best medicine, teach people to be loving, to have good characteristics. And good character Allah be pleased with us. If Allah's pleased with us, Allah guides us to the hands of those whom He truly loves and guides. We pray that Allah dress us from these lights, bless us from these lights. Ya Rabbi Israhi wa Miraj is opening, grant us a miraj into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad To be with Nabiyeen, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin Ya Rabbi, you're with them. If we are not with them Ya Rabbi then maybe you're upset with us. If we've done anything wrong forgive us Ya Rabbi. Forgive all those who are coming to this threshold and door of muhabbat and love. The shaitan has overtaken us and made every action to be bad. Ya Rabbi fata abwaab as sama wa mayun munhamilan. Ya Rabbi open the gates of your heaven and shower upon us your light and water of rahmah. That to wash us to be clean and to be purified and to be presented to the Holy Presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and that Prophet be happy with us and grant us to be with Sayyidina Mahdi inshaAllah and to be from the companions of Sayyidina Mahdi to be from Nawab and supporters of the companions of Sayyidina Muhammad al-Mahdi Sahib al-Waq, Sahib al-Unsur inshaAllah. Allah bless you, bless us, forgive us for anything we've done wrong and prepare for us this holy night with lights and blessings. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Everybody putting out and we say this at the beginning of the program because some people may tune out but tonight is interactive and we'll talk with people, communicate with people that there's nothing to fear but fear itself. Fear is the opposite of iman. We are at a time in which to have immense iman, immense iman and faith. There are many awrads, many zikrs, many things being sent out, alhamdulillah that these awliyaullah have already prepared everything. It's as simple as getting the Muhammadan Way app. As soon as you download that app you click on the Fajr awrad. The Fajr awrad is something that was given to the Sultan al-Awliya, not the lowest level awliya which is no, there are no low level awliyas. But to the king and most humble of all awliyaullah was given by Sayyidina Muhammad to the sultan. That read this wazifa, read this etiquette to please Sayyidina Muhammad By reading that awrad every du'a, every blessing, every reality is in that fajr. Just by reading that fajr awrad and etiquette it is a preparation for every day. You don't need a day of sickness to look around and say, okay what should I recite, what should I recite? They gave to us and said, recite this awrad every day. But because we are busy with our dunya, we forgot all their teachings. 
we're busy running after our money and, and uh, all, all the things that we want to buy. And now Allah shut that door, sent all the naughty children into their room and now we don't know what to do inside our room. So reminder now <laughs> we are in our room, it's all on the app. You click on the Fajr Salah, Fajr Salah and every zikr and every blessing, SubhanAllah wa bihamdi, SubhanAllah al Azim, Astaghfirullah, Prophet teaches in the books of the fiqh of Salah that recite that 100 times to take obstacles from your day away. 100 obstacles will be taken away. Forget about the infinite blessings with Allah addressing the soul. But every awrad was a protection for the Fajr day because you pray it at Fajr to be Faraj, to be in salvation from the difficulty of what that day was going to bring. So it's already there in the awrad. Alif Lam Mim Allahu la ilayhu la hayl qayyum wa tubu ilayk inna huwa tawab ar raheem They added the Alif Lam Mim because that's a code. But the maqfirah and the reality of asking that forgiveness which they said was a secret code in which to speak with Sayyidina Muhammad Allahu la ilaha illahu al-hayyu al-qayyum wa tubu ilayk and then inna huwa tawab raheem Means that was a coding in which they were asking from Janab al-Haqq who is al-hayyu al-qayyum, the representative of the reality of haqq. Because haqq is a definition in creation, haqq is not a description of Allah Allah beyond any understanding of description. That from this world of creation of all its falsehood the supreme truth is the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad which is the reality of all souls. So that soul is our God, al Hayyu al-Qayyum. So when they recite by saying al Hayyu al-Qayyum they're asking for a code into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and by that code they're asking for his forgiveness. That we're coming to you with all our wrongs, Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasul Kareem grant us an intercession, take our wrongs, we ask your forgiveness and you ask Allah our forgiveness on our behalf that take our case to, to Allah Means all of that in the fajr. So all these zikrs and additional awrads alhamdulillah but it's already there all for us in the fajr awrad. We pray that Allah spread that app for everyone to use, it's offline you don't have to have an internet to use all of its functionalities. Some of them are streaming so they require internet connection. But alhamdulillah these tools have been given. Now that we're at home Allah opening the ability for people to regain yourself, O mankind, correct the character, regain what's important. You see the grave in front of you, recite what needs to be recited, give what needs to be give, wash what needs to be washed and prepare for the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi salam inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.